Welcome to another Necromunda Battle Report in the Sweatbox. And I'm joined by... Callum again. Hello. Callum, yeah, who's going to be playing? Uh, squat Prospectors again. So we'll see how they go this time with a lot more shooting than last time. So not all pistols, even though that is cool, but... Yeah, well, he's, your movement might have <laughs> worked yeah. against you with that one. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing in forces this time, Precinct 13 Alpha, and we're going to be playing a Bad Zones it's environment. Yeah. The mission is going to be Tunnel Skirmish, just from the main rule book to keep it a bit simple, so that the environmental effects and dome type will basically be the only confusion. As opposed to a lot of objectives on top of that as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So. Just because we're trying this out for the next campaign, in which we're going to be using Bad Zone environments in some scenarios. So yeah, we'll get into our list, I think. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Or yes, me? no, I will. Um, so I've got my Charter Master and the Squad Prospectors. Um, he's actually armed with a bolt gun this time, uh, so we'll see how that goes, mm -hmm. uh, instead of just his melee as usual. Uh, and next we've got my two champions. Uh, they're the Drill Masters. Uh, they both have bolt guns as well, and they have their special rules, uh, which is I've got to all that kid on them again. Right. So I get to reroll the ammo tests. Yes. I'm sure I rolled the sixes straight away, as I did both times last game. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Melina also has Iron Will, so he counts as two models if he's alive. I'm sure he'll die instantly again. Well, ho I'm hoping so. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm hoping yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to deny well, that if, Well, if I hope for it, maybe it won't happen, though. Maybe maybe it'll cancel each other out. And then this time I just got three gangers with all guns. Ah, so he's just trying out the different weapon systems. Yeah, so last time I had a lot of bolt pistols and things like that, which were obviously immensely powerful. But obviously the nine inch visibility hindered me a little bit there. Yeah. So I just think I just kind of want to try a lot more, you know, full full range twenty four inch guns. Just see how that goes, uh, yeah. rather than obviously a lot of short range weapons basically. Yeah. So, but I'm interested to see how much the difference of that strength three matters. Yeah, but between strength. Four. Well, the thing is with your auto guns, the two rapid fire dice yes. over a normal auto gun, I think will end up making a massive difference. Yes. I know your bolt guns get two rapid fire dice. But ball guns take people out anyway. Yes. They do gun people down. Yeah. Whereas the auto gun might really benefit from that boost. Yes. And it also gets more gangers into your gang. Yeah. And also the ammo rolls are a lot easier. So the four yeah. instead of a six. So if I do go out of ammo. So you've not got a champion running around punching people like last game. Yeah. Which did happen and that was quite sad. Yes. So then in Precinct 13 Alpha, facing off against the prospectors, the stunties, I'm going to have a subjugator captain who's got a shock baton, vigilance pattern, assault shield, and just the standard layered flak armor, which is a five up save and a four plus against blasts, I believe, but you've got no blasts, so I've not really looked at that. No, nope. it's five up save. Then I've got a subjugator sergeant with shock baton, vigilance pattern, assault shield, and threat response. So threat response is when you charge another fighter. Yeah. If this fighter is within six inches, I believe, they can charge and strike first before oh. you're charging model. Yeah. Oh, my captain is going to have exactly the same. Right. Because they, I don't think, have access to ferocity skills, so I can't get true grit. Yeah. So this one allows me to charge. Yep. Um, I've got a Palinex Sergeant with Enforcer Bolt Gun, which is a 4 plus ammo roll bolt gun, and also hip shooting, which means I can double move and shoot at minus one. Yeah. Because I just I like that for running around, getting into rooms, surprising people. Gunning them down. And obviously more movement, more good, isn't it? So Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I've got a Palatine Patrolman with Enforcer Shotgun. Enforcer Shotgun is a combat shotgun with a normal ammo roll. So it's just well, a thing. Yeah. I've got a Palatine Patrolman with Concussion Carbine, which is a small blast, strength three, and if it hits you, you're always pinned even if you've got something like Nerves of Steel. Right, okay. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it used to be that if you fired at someone, even if you missed, it still it still them, yeah. pinned them. A palatine patrol, sorry, a subjugator patrolman, because I've got to have two subjugators because my captain is a subjugator. Yes. So I've got a subjugator patrolman with a subjugator pattern grenade launcher, which is just like a frag grenade launcher. Right. That's all. And then I've got a subjugator patrolman with a stub pistol. And that's it, because he comes enough. with a stud pistol. He's trying his best. Yeah, and well, I needed to. I didn't have the points to give a really expensive weapon to all my guys. I didn't want another grenade launcher, because I already had one. Yep. I didn't want like any combat weapons on these guys. Yeah, and we... Because they've not got skills to help them stand up. Yeah. So I thought, 
Uh, you can just have a bolt pistol. You can be the rookie. Those those, those cop price cuts have to come from somewhere, don't they? So exactly. all, the, all the guys get the rest of the good gear. He's just pistol with going in the back. But it's the Enjoy budget it. restraints in the yeah, bad exactly. zones. So we're going to be playing in the dome jungle today, which means we have to include at least six large areas of carnivorous plants. If we should, you will see there is a lot of plants on a the table. Plant. If you do like the video, click like, subscribe to the channel. It helps me to know that you guys like this sort of content so that I can produce more of the stuff that you like. If you really like the channel, there is a Patreon link below of which you now get Discord access, as well as getting a dice tray that you can see used in this battle report. So with that, we'll get into deployment. Okay, so this is the dome jungle that we will be fighting over today. It's very verdant and green. And we've decided that these plants on the small bases are the ones which are going to be the deadly plants. And they're going to be Shardrek Spines. So what they do, any fighter that moves within three inches, once they've completed their movement, must take an initiative check. If you fail, you take a strength two hit that is minus three AP, one damage. Roll the D6 in each end phase for each Shardrek Spine. On a four plus, it shoots spines at the closest fighter within 12 inches, counting as an auto pistol with BS4. And neither of us have brought anti-plant weapons. We've not even got flamers or gas templates. Oh, so um, they're going to be around, basically. Yeah. We just have to dodge them. <laughs> so, yeah, so we can't kill them. And they're hard to kill even if you've got those. So, yeah, we'll see how really horrendous these plants are. Callum, do you want to go over your gang deployment? Yes, so I've got my bot pistol powers leader here with my ganger with auto gun. Uh, I then have my champion with bolt gun and gango with auto gun. And lastly, same again as just there, I have my champion with bolt gun and gango with auto gun. Okay. So over this side, I've got my subjugator with stub pistol. I've got my champion with bolt gun, or my sergeant, I suppose. I've got my captain with his shock baton and shield. I've got concussion carbine, grenade launcher, and then just here on a flanking mission, I've got my sergeant with shield and baton and a shotgun. And yeah, we'll see how this game goes. I have honestly no idea how this is going to go. We'll probably get eaten by plants. Yeah, it actually took us quite a while to work out how we were going to do this. Um, to get enough like sort of Vegetation. greenery on the board whilst also which ones are going to be the actual like dangerous plants we want to avoid. So hopefully it's not too confusing. Again, it's this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, and this one, just on the small bases. Yes. Turn one. Five, five. Ooh. Roll again. Yep. Yeah. One. Three. So you go first. Right, okay. So, I'll go with my leader. Uh, and he's going to group activate my Ganga. So I'm just going to double move because it's first turn. So four inches from my leader. And then another four again. Just to air. And same with my Ganga. He's just going to move four. Then another four. Just to air. And that's okay. it. I'm going to activate with my Pistol Patrolman. And he's going to move six inches off his five. Then he's, the first inch of his second move to there. And then I'm going to start doing difficult terrain, and it's going to take four inches of all of his movement just to get to there. <laughs> so back over to you. Right, okay. I am going to activate my Ganga, uh, just my Ganga, and he is going to move four just to here. And I'm going to see whether you're in range to shoot. So you're going to I'm declare going to... a fire action? I am. I'm going to try and shoot your, your lad that just jumps up there. So it would be 24 inches. He's just not within range, sadly. So... So you'll roll firepower dice. It's true, I will. So, let's give it a go. No. Fine. Fine. So, you just take a shot, but nothing. And that's, yeah. that's my activation. Yeah, so over to me. I want to weigh some more activations of Callum's. And I'm going to go nine and an inch. Just to here. 
Oh my god, I'm going to get gunned down by plants at the end of think, turn one. I think, I, think, I think you will. I think yeah. we'll both get gunned down by plants, to be honest. Well, I? I think upon seeing this, and we'll have the experience, or so we'll be double drilled into us, yep. in the campaign, we might all be taking plant buster ammo. It's true. Yeah. I feel like we might need it uh, to, to live, basically. I will say the board is scaring me more than you. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I completely agree. Because... We've kind of got to get to each other first before we can fight each other. And in the way, there's six angry plants that do want to shoot us every turn. Yes. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think you're wrong. So I'm going to activate um, just my champion, just my champion. And he is going to move his four to here and his other four just to here. Okay. And that's his move. So I'm going to activate my sergeant. Oh, no, my grenade launcher. No. So I'm going to activate... My sergeant over here, with shock baton, he's going to go his nine and an inch to just be in level with this shotgun gang. And I think he's slightly behind, actually, with how I measured it. So, back over to you. Right, I'm going to activate my uh, last ganger. And I think I kind of just want to get into the middle, to be honest. So he's going to do the same as his buddy. So he's going to move four just to here, and another four just to move basically behind him. and just end up there. Okay. Right. So, back over to this group of patrolmen, and how many activations have you got left? Zero. Zero. Oh, yeah, I think you've got oh, no, one. one. One tell I've got one. Yeah. So if you want to move into range of me, that'd be great. Nope, <laughs> not at all. I'm going to use my hip-shooting champion to move over to here, because I've got a sneaky plan. That's the worst kind of plan. I hate sneaky plans. Yeah, well, he's not too sneaky, because you can see me doing it's it. It's true, yeah. If you want to run all the way around here, feel free. I'm going to. It's fine by me. You've got two plants in the way. So. <laughs> I think I'm going to go through here. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm just going to activate my last uh, champion. Oh, where does he? Where would he like to go? I'm just going to move him up the board. <laughs> just going to move him up the board. So he's going to move his four. I don't think I'm going to pass for a second. I'm just going to stay there. Okay. I think. So everyone else is actually just going to carry on the same as this this sergeant. So I might as well just do them all. They're all the same move. And they all get over to here. And that is the end of turn one. Yes. Except for... The bad zone effects. The, and the plant. Not only the bad zone effects, the plant yes. shooting at us all. They are. So, uh, it's within 12 inches, wasn't it? So, I'll, I'll yeah. take this one first. Yeah. Um, so, oh, it's definitely within 12. Is it within six, though? Because it's an auto pistol, so it's six inch close range. Yes, it is. So, it will be hitting on a three. Oh. It doesn't hit. Ah, oh, boo. Do I do yours next? Yeah. So, it will go into this shotgun ganger, so the shotgun patrolman, who I actually don't massively want to do it on. But, it hits on a three, and it misses. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think the only other one, the other one I can do is this one. And this one over here yeah. for me. Yeah, so I'll do this one. Um, he's not within six, so I'll be on a four. Let's see if it hits. Doesn't hit. And my subjugator with pistol. No, really ineffective plants. Plants are not having a good day today, it seems. But we'll cut the bad zone effect. And then we get a toxic downpour. Toxic liquid rains down from the sky. Do you want to roll a dice, Callum? Yes, I shall. We get a one. A one. Fighters count their save as one worse while this effect this event is in effect. If it's a dome jungle, in the end phase, all carnivorous plants heal all damage dealt to them. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too, that, We've that done no damage to effect, them, yeah. so I think we're okay, but still that minus one arm save is not gonna be the best. So, we'll get into two and two, and we've just read the rest of the dome jungle card, and actually, all the spines, they all missed last round, so it didn't matter. Yep will be at plus one strength, so strength three. And all of the long range shooting that we do get a minus one to hit modifier. So, actually, it's really horrible. And actually it will be strength four because it's an auto gun. So it's plus one strength from the dome jungle card. Yeah, so it's, that's wounding you on threes. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into uh, <laughs> let's get into priority two, three. three. So Looks like you're going first. It's true. It's true. Right. Okay. 
How can I just just waste a turn? <laughs> yeah, how can That's I not go near the plants? Yeah, just just rather waste a turn. Thanks. Uh, I'm just going to move my leader up, so he's just going to move for just to here, and he he's just going to stay there. Really That's all. Close. That's yeah. all the other. That's thing. it. So I'm going to activate my rookie patrolman. He's going to go an inch to the edge. He's then going to go. He's going to jump down, and it's two inches, so he's fine jump, just jumping down. Um, and then he's going to... He's going to get to the other side of the barrel, so actually t <laughs> take cover yeah. from nice. all of the things. So that's, that's five inches of movement. His second activation is going to be to open this door. And that's it. He stands there. Right, yep, yeah, okay, so I'm going to activate my I'm gonna activate my Ganga. Yes. Uh, and I think what he's going to do is he... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I just have to run at you. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to blindly charge, I think. So he's going to move four to hit. And you've just moved within three inches of the plan. Yes, I have. So and I you do take a strength attack. three hit. Yes. So you strength two normally, but plus one strength because you're in a dome, dung, dome jungle. Yep. And that's if you fail an initiative test. Yep. So Absolutely. the initiative test. Oh no! You pass, pass it, so right. you don't take the hit. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to move another four. Uh, just, just to here. Right, and that's his turn. And you've moved within three inches yep. of the plant again. <laughs> oh, nope. you failed. So uh, so it's strength, strength three, three toughness four. So fives. It wounds. Uh, hits, sorry. Uh, no, it does wound, doesn't it? So on my save, five up, we are at minus one because of the downpour. Yes. Yep, so on a six. Oh, no, you get the six! It. Done. Plants yeah. ain't nothing till they kill us all. So take that with a grain of salt. But even that process was. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to activate over here and I'm going to do. Six inches movement and another four inches movement with my sergeant to get round to here. To I'm seeing seen... out of the way of them plants. Man. Yeah, no, I think that's probably quite a good idea, to be honest. Um, I just don't have anywhere I can go to get away from these two, really. Because um, even up here, I do have they've got line of sight on me. So I'm going to activate. I'm going to activate my champion. Yeah. Um, and he's actually going to go backwards. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're so he's, terrified of the plants. He's, he's going to go backwards to here, and he's going to use activation to open this door. Okay. Just like that, to set me up for next turn to run away. Yes. So Smart move, yep. smart move. So next I'm going to do the same movement with this patrolman, and he's going to get to there, and then be back over to you, Callum. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to activate... My Ganga, he's going to move four to here, and he is going to shoot your shotgunner. Yes. Um, so I'm pretty sure that'll be just out of 12, which obviously is. And you're at long range, so it's a further minus one. Exactly. To so I'm hitting on a five. Okay. With your With two our, rapid fire Yes, dice. it's true. No. But no, I'm going check. No. And no one is actually closer to that one inch. Yep. So it's not a stray shot. Yep. Nope. And that's his activation. I am. Have you got anyone else over that side? No. I've activated yeah. one on that side now. Right. So I'm just going to carry on with this movement over here because nothing entirely terrible is going to happen. No. Well, I've just got these two guys to move, but there's not really. <laughs> Anywhere I can easily move them to. Um, I, I'm, He's a bit of a thinker, isn't it? I, I'm, I, I have to be really careful because this plant specifically, I, I just can't go around this area of the board without getting within six inches of it. It's literally impossible. And by the time you get to here, you're in range of two. Exactly. And crossing here, I'm always in range of one, no matter what side I'm on. So I think I kind of need to just tank it and go up the middle. Really. At some point, one of us is going to have to tank it. Exactly. And it, I, like, I, if I get closer, I'm going to end up tanking it. Yeah. So, but I almost feel like sitting here and just, you've got more models, you have to come to me. Mm, but that's, that's lame. So, 
<laughs> I'm just going to move four to here, uh, and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to stay out of six. So it's three inches for the initiative check. Right. Yep, so I'm just going to double move then, just to behind this And box. stay out of the three yep. inches. Yep, yep. So, my leader, no, 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 leader is going to get to here, which is back over to your activation. And I'm just going to do the same with this guy. So I'm just going to double move out to behind this box. That's your auto gun ganger. Yes, it is, yeah. And then just going to sit here, and then it's all you now. Yeah, so my two over here, I'm going to activate... Well, I'm going to do both of them, aren't I? So I'm going to do my shotgun ganger, who's going to move five inches forwards. Oh, and at some point I'm going to have to... I don't think you can feasibly not be within three, can you? Three and two. And that's within three, so I better take an initiative check. I pass. You pass? Oh, and I'm just going to move four forwards to there. And that will have taken me within three inches, so I need another initiative check. He's fine. Just about does it, yep. My next... Palatine Patrolman, or Subjugator Sergeant this time, is going to get just in front of you and take two initiative checks. One at the end of his movement here. He fails! So takes a strength three hit. You roll my strength three hit, please, Callum. Cool. Yeah. No. Nothing. And then my next one at the end of the move, his initiative check is five. Right, okay, so that's all my activations. You've done as well. Oh, the end of mine. Right, so, so let's do these, these shooting, I guess. Well, let's do to see if the toxic downpour yes. ends. So it's in, yep. On a three plus, the toxic downpour ends. It, it does. does. And we draw another card. Yep. I've got a bad feeling about this. A fighter suffers plus two penalty to any nerve tests they are required to take. High gum and hangers on who become broken are removed from the battlefield and count as having gone out of action. And if we're in a dome jungle, if you end your activation within three inches of a plant, you've got to take a nerve check. So it's a nerve check at yeah. minus two if you end within three inches of the plant. Right, at least that's in your activation, so we might have a chance to run away. Yes. Maybe. But first, let's do the plant shooting. Yes. So uh, I will go with, I'll, do, I'll start well, with Well, should I do yours and you do mine? Yeah, sure, if you want. Do you want to do this one, then? So it's just this guy here. I, I really want to do that really one. wants to do Yeah, they're, they're equal, so probably on this guy who's in the open. It makes sense. Right. So the squat behind this door, that's with a, an auto gun. Yes. Yep. So... No. It misses. <laughs> right, and then I will do... Um, I think they're equal, so which one do you want it on? So you roll to hit. We'll oh, do it on I'm, either of them. Right. We'll randomise if you hit. Yep. So it does hit. It hits with one. So yep. one, two, three, it hits the shotgun. Yep. Yeah, it, it does. does. And uh, this is strength four, because it's an auto gun. Yeah. Plus one strength for our dome dome. So hitting it when you have three? Yeah. It wounds. Go do your <laughs> wounds. So I have a six plus flak armor save. Oh, oh I miss it. it! Wow. Yes, but I am pinned because I've been hit with a shooting attack. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then I've got Yep. My subjugator here that you need to roll for. Yep. So let's do him. First with this one with a minus one to hit. Yep. Oh, sorry. So minus one needs yeah. a five. Yes, so it, will, it, so it won't be a hit. And then and then this one, which we will need to measure if it's in twelve inches yeah. of them or that. Yep, so his were twelve within them. And not within them, so it will yeah. be on that guy. So it will be on the pistol subjugator. Yeah. No. No, because the minus one yeah. for shooting through a lot of terrain. Yeah. Right, so that is the end of the turn. And we will roll for priority for yeah. turn three. One. 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 We do this far too much, Pat. Yes, we do. So I got it last time, so you get it this time. What you mean is I have to go first. Yes, that's correct. You do have to, because I don't want to. I'm actually going to declare a charge here. Yeah. And he's going to activate the shotgun ganger at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So I've got a five inch move. 
And I, basically, I need a three to get in, yeah. to get the plus two. Yeah, easy. So I make yeah. it in. So my Palinite Sergeant is two attacks base. I've got one for charging, and I've got my shield, which is going to be in red. Yeah. But I'll do that last, yeah. because it matters to me the order in which I do this. Right. So the three attacks base with his shock baton, he hits you on fours. Right. So he hits one time. You've got a toughness of four. Yes. And my strength is three. So I don't wound. Nope. And then I've got my shield, which misses. Right. My reaction attacks back. Yes. So uh, hitting on a four, which does hit. Uh, I'm only strength three, so I'm no wounds, three. So fours. It does wound. <laughs> okay, I've got layered flak armour and a vigilance assault shield. And I've got armoured undersuit because I'm an enforcer. So my undersuit, layered flak armour for a five. Undersuit makes it a four. And then my shield makes it a two up. So two up. Oh, no! <laughs> so I take a wound. I'm a, a sergeant, so I've got two. Yep. So, yep, so the, so one wound off, being punched in the face by a squad that you charged and did no damage to. That's... I know. It's quite sad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so next I'm going to stand up this patrolman. Yep. And actually just move to approximately here. Right. And by approximately there, I mean exactly there. Yep, no, fair enough. That's where he is. I can't argue that. So I'm going to activate my leader. Um, since since I might as well, thank you for putting them there. Um, so he is going to move. Uh, I am going to roll, but obviously with a double charge. It's, he's got a four inch movement and a one one to get in. So yeah, it's five. So I'm in. So he's just going to move just here. In fact, I will roll just to see if I get a little bit more. No, nope. no. Nope. So he's just going there. Uh, and I am going to attack your your sergeant. Yeah. So I get two attacks base, one for charging. Um, and I will be using his power fist. So oh, I thought you said there was no power, there was no combat weapons in this game. No, I got one, just one. Always on the leader because right. it looks cool. Yeah, fair enough. I really wish there was a separate. Uh, I, said, I wish we could have two. Like they modelled him with two, but they didn't. He had threes. Yes. That's not good. And I've got parry, so re-roll that success, please. Right. It's. Um, it is strength. Five versus your toughness three, so threes. Doesn't win. Yes. Right. And I am going to just turn and get minus one to hit on this yep. uh, reaction attack. Yeah. But I'm actually just going to attack into your ganger. Yes. And that was because you were actually in my side arc, so I wouldn't have got my shield. Yeah. So for the shot baton, I miss because I get minus one because I turned. And I'm weapon skill four anyway. Yeah. And then my shield misses because of my minus one for turning. Yeah. So there we go. So that's that's uh, obviously your reaction is done to my lead fighting. So it's now your activation. Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to move his three to the corner, and I'm actually just going to move to here. Maybe even a bit back from there, because I just want to sneak about and wait for backup. So over to you, Callum. Right, fair enough. So I am going to activate my Ganga just here. He's going to activate the door with his first action. So, oh, it's coming. 3D printed doors, mate. They're really hard to get There we out. go. Done. So that's his first activation. And he is going to move for. Just do it. I know, squat backup's coming. It's true. <clears throat> Back up's on the way. So my hip shooting sergeant is going to get right up to here with his double move. I do feel like my my fighter should have closed the door behind him. Might have been helpful, but I might do, I'm going to do that next turn. Yeah, I think. fair enough. I do not blame you at all. Um, so my champion. Ooh. Ooh, that's a very sad shot, but I'm very tempted. <laughs> Ooh. Can you actually see them from there? Yes. The, through this, like, narrow sliver. But obviously it will be at minus two. Yeah. So whether I want to take that six-up shot on a bolt gun wave, if I roll an ammo check, it's also a six-up. I think I'll wait till you're a little bit easier to shoot, to be honest. Um, so what he's going to do is actually he's just going to move forward just to here. 
and just sequester himself in that cover. And that's my turn for him. Okay. So over to mine, Subjugator is going to move to here. And up to right. you. Okay. Um, I am going to activate... Oh, go on. I'll, I'll activate my auto, auto gun ganger here. And he is actually going to fall back out of combat. Ooh. I think. So, so he's got to take an initiative check. Yes. Let's see that for him now, so on a five. Nope. Nope, and I get to see if I react attack. I do. You do. So my shock baton hits. Hits. Oh, and it hits on a six, so it auto wounds. Right. Because so it's shock. Any AP? AP is... No. So he saves. He does save. Yes. And then I've got my shield. Yep. No. Which misses. Nope. Okay. Um, so he's going to fall back. No, you failed. Oh, failed easy, right? So, yeah, so you can try it again, I believe. Um, there's not really much probably trying to fight you, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that's the best idea. So, because you'll get a reaction attack, I don't really. But I think you'll win in that scenario. Uh, so, right, okay, well, that's, that's his that turn. Then. Yep. Next, my concussion carbine is going to go to there and be done. Right, I'm going to activate... <laughs> I need to activate my, just my Ganga uh, with the auto gun. And he is just going to double move just to his buddy here. Just so I've got a nice bit of cover. Okay. So next, my leader is going to go 9 inches, 10 inches, and just get round to here and be facing towards the plants with his shield. Yeah, I do not blame him. Um, so I'm going to activate my last guy, my champion, but I'm actually just going to jiggle about and he's not going to move. He's just going to stay there. He's biding his time. Okay. Also, he's helpfully being behind cover for the only guy that's going to be shot by the plant. Yes. So. <laughs> okay. So that is all of our activations. Now we'll let's shoot people with plants. It's true. We get to the plant shooting phase. So, um, would you like Should me to start with this one first? onto my shotgun? Yep. Doesn't nope. hit. Doesn't hit. Do you want to... Next, to yeah. Yep. This plant onto the auto gun yep. ganger beneath the big tree. Nope. It's within four. So Ooh. it gets plus one because it's an auto pistols type shot. Oh, it's minus one because of the cover. So we'll let the gate it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, and yep. your... Was it your shield guy? Yes, my shield guy here, if he's within 12. Yeah, let's have a look. Nope. Yeah, nope. he is, I think. No, I'd, I'd, I'd say he's not. Unless you want to... Because that wall's on. Do you want to... He is at that base. Right. Yep, fair enough. Right, so <laughs> let's see if... He's going to be in heavy he's... cover. Yeah, I was going to say, him with the shield. Ooh. And it doesn't hit because it nope, needs to hit four. my six. Yep. Minus two, yep. And then... I don't... No one's in range of this one, are they? No. No. One's... No? No. So that's it, I believe, for plants. Yes, so let's see if the card goes out of action. It doesn't because it's on a five plus. Yep. <laughs> So, priority. Indeed. To turn four. Let's see if we can draw again, I guess. Like every time. Oh. So oh. I had it last time, so you go That's first. correct. And I'm going to leave a turn dice number over here, which is turn four. Yeah. So, um, since it's the most important thing, I'm going to go ahead and take first with my leader. Because okay. I want to try and crump you. So, my two attacks, obviously I'm not charging anymore. So, hitting on threes. It yeah, are you just activating your leader? I am just right. activating okay. my leader. I'd rather pad out those activations, I think. Okay. No. No. I will activate both of them, because if I kill you... See how you, nice I am reminding Thank you, you very much. I will activate both of them, because if I manage to kill you my leader, I can shoot your ganger. So we'll see. Um, so hit on threes. Reroll that one. six, please. I shall. And you hit. Yep. So uh, it's uh, hit on threes, so it's strength five, toughness three. Yes. So I hit wound on threes, sorry. Wounds, AP minus two. So I've got a four up because my shield, under yeah. armour, I'm layered. No, I pass. Save. Yeah. I'm going to reaction attack back at your ganger. Yep. Uh, yeah, I am. Yep. So the shock baton. Nope. The second attack because he's a champion. <laughs> nope. And the shield. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, so, Your with ganger. with my Ganga, I... 
You've still got two wounds, haven't you? I've got one wound You've left one on wound? that side. Because I did do one, didn't I? I will try and attack him. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Um, <laughs> so you hit all fours with your auto gun ganger. Yep. No, this, I think this is fives. I think on my gang. Uh, no, yep, no, it's fours because he's not a Jew. Yep. So four. Nothing. Nada. Okay. And our reaction attack is against your leader because I'm more scared of him. Yep, I don't blame you. So the two from the shock baton hits. Nonce, and then shield. my shield hits, hits, and my four is over your strength, so you actually yes, get right. knocked back. Right, okay. Because my shield has knockback. Yep. So my strength is three on my shield, so I need a five to wound you, which I do. You do wound. So take a save, sir. Um, he's got three wounds. So I don't so get a save. save um, any yeah. AP? No. No. So he's on five up, save. Oh, sorry. Nope. User error, user error. No, so he doesn't save, so he does take a wound, so he's now down to two. Yes, and you're knocked back an inch. Yep. Just give him back. One to here. <laughs> Just from now on, I'm fine with you guesstimating an inch. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I trust you to be able to guesstimate fair an enough. inch as much as it matters. The funny thing is, you've just knocked him back, but he has a backpack mounted power fist, so I'm just going to shoot you, I think, next time. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, not if I shoot you first. It's true. That, that would be an issue, I must admit. Yes. Um, so, yep, yeah, fair enough. Um, I'm going to activate that champion. I've still got my activation oh. on my Ganger, because I, I only tried to run away once, right? Oh, you fought. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I did fight. Yeah, no, I did fight, yeah. No, no, that's a single action. Yeah. So, so you can do something else. Retreat. Fight is a basic action, yeah. so the other action can be retreat, yes. or you can just waste. Uh, I will... I will retreat, so you have to charge me. I'll try it, at least. Right. We'll see what happens. So I am on a five up. No, I still don't get it. And my reaction. You do get it. <laughs> so <laughs> makes sense. I've got my two shock bat on. Oh, Hit auto wounds because yep. it's a, a shock. Um, so five up save. Yeah. Nope. So he does that one wound. Yep. Broken bone. Broken bone. And then I will do my shield, which hits, doesn't wound, doesn't wound. but he does knock you back an inch. Yes. Because it's not back. Right. Oh, actually, one minute. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure he's here, so <laughs> there's a guy next to him, so he can't just do a coup de grace. <laughs> yes. So I'm actually going to activate over there. Yep. I'm gonna aim with my shotgun enforcer. Yep. And I'm gonna then fire with my rapid fire shotgun. Yep. So I then hit you on twos because it's close range and aiming yep. from my BS4. I hit three times. Ooh. So three strength four shotgun. <laughs> only it's one. Only one. With no minus one strength. Yep, so just the five up save. No, he still takes it, so he's down to his last wound now. Yeah, you are pinned yes. and you have been knocked back. Yep, so knocked back and uh, pinned. Oh. Yeah. Though the pinned possibly won't <laughs> won't make too much of a Yeah, I don't think he's gonna matter much. Because I charge your leader. Yes. Oh, yeah, then no, I'll just stand back up. <laughs> That's why it won't make too much of yeah. a difference. How, how many wounds have I taken off you? Two. Now? Two. So he's on his last. Right. So I've got three shock back on attacks, of which I hit with three. Yep. But no auto wounds. I wound with one. Yep. Save at minus nothing. So five up save. He saves. And, and then I've got my shield. Yep. No. Misses. Right, so my reaction attacks. Um, so I'm on two for my power fist, and the bolt pistol I was totally forgetting before. Um, so all on threes, uh, the yellow will be the bolt pistol. All on threes. Four. <laughs> and I've yeah. got parry, so re-roll yes. that. Um, yep. And you've got to roll your ammo dice anyway. Yes. Which still hits with one. Okay, so I'm toughness three. Yeah, so I spent four, so on threes. Does wound. AP minus one for a bolt pistol. So I've got a three up in the front. Yep. Which he saved. He loves it. Yep, cool. <laughs> that's that again. <laughs> yeah, and that's over to you, because that was my activation. Yep. So, I am going to activate my ganger. Yes. And I'm going to aim shoot at your shotgun guy. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I will be uh, using his auto gun. Um, so, I could move, in fact, because of the cover, 
I'd still be getting minus one. So it doesn't matter if I aim and shoot, if I can get rid of that cover. I think as well though, if you move further round, you will be putting yourself within one inch of getting stray shots. Mm, yeah, I'm with you. So it's up to you, you'll get mm. less cover, but also yeah. more stray shots. No, I'll, I'll, ju I'll just go for it, I'll just go for it for this, I'll, I'll, I'll aim and shoot. And you've um, two yes. arrow dice. So, um, hitting on, uh, it's still four. Yeah. The main mint. So it misses, but I don't take an ammo check. Yeah, and it will be out of that one inch, I think. Yeah. Over to my activation. <laughs> I need to close that door. Or just move through it all and just be like, whatever. My pistol, patrolman, subjugated patrolman, is going to double move to here. Oh, actually to behind. Yeah. There. So that's over to you. Right, okay. Um, I... We're going to have this weird fight here where none of us wants to get super close because of the plant. Well, I'm, I've got shields and yep. shot buttons. Yep, no, I need no, no, to no. bash you. Um, almost, almost very tempted. But no, I really don't want to get close. Yeah, I'm exactly. just going to have to. Yeah. Because you'll um, outshoot me. It's true. Um, <laughs> I almost just don't want to move. I almost want to be like, right, you. I've kind of accepted you've got that side of the board. You just come for me. Um... Do I want to start moving around though? I move around here, I got eaten by the plant. So I'm going to activate my Ganga and he's going to go on his merry way. Um, just around, I think. Okay. <laughs> he's just going to, he's just going to start running. So he's going to, oh, he's going to go four to here. Then he's going to go another four just into here. That's the activation, because I'd rather you move more guys up. I can see that, I can see yep. that. I'm going to double move with this sergeant to here. Yep. And I'm going to use my hip shooting skill. Yep. Hip shooting is, I can fire at the end of a double move. Yes. With minus one to hit. Yep. And I'm going to fire at this auto gun ganger. Yep. Over here, because you're out in the open. Yes, makes sense. So, I hit on fours because I'm an idiot patrolman sergeant who only gets a four at ballistic skill. So, hits on fives because they're minus one. Yep, does nothing. Right. So, Nothing. So I'm going to activate my champion, yes. and I'm going to aim shoot at him. Okay, yeah, fair. Um, so uh, I'm then hitting on threes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, threes. Twos? Uh, I'm in heavy cover, though. You're in, yeah, so it would be it'd still be threes. Fives. Fives? Four. Base. Yeah. Aiming plus one, so yeah, to three. three. Yeah, five. Yeah. Five for minus yeah. two. Um, so we'll see if he can hit. Oh, he loves it. Yeah, so he takes an ammo check. He does. Three times. Um, I'll roll the ammo check now. Uh, so it will be on a six up. But I get to reroll because it's defendable like in. We'll see if it actually matters. No, it doesn't. So he is out of ammo. Uh, but I do hit three times, so this could be tasty. Oh, no. Um, so I spent four, toughness three, so three. Yes. For one. But he does two damage. It's true. At minus one. Yes. And I've only got six an up. undersuit. And a flak armor. Yes. So I'm on a six up now. So a six up? No. no. So your two injury dice. One injury dice because I've got two wounds. Oh, one. Yeah, one yeah. injury dice. <laughs> Still a lot. Broken bone. Broken bone. So he is face down. No, my bolt gun. It's true. But I, I am now out of ammo though, so we're going to spend like two So we both reloading. down the bolt gun. Yeah. yeah. But I now need break tests because I'm seriously injured. Yes. So, over to me. Oh, my captain. <laughs> oh no, all the magnets are coming off. <laughs> this happened last time. It was cut out and it will be again. <laughs> so my captain gets to there. <coughs> and that's your activation. Yep, so I'm going to move my next ganger just to here. And you're within three inches of a plant, so ending it's that move. It's true, I am. So you take a nerve check at it's minus two. It's true. I'm going to definitely check what that returns. <laughs> The result is because I'm not quite sure. You're, I think, a five up for squats. Um, so five up normal yeah. for squats, and then you get minus two yeah. because it's because of the I've got a yeah. bad feeling about this event. Yeah. So we'll see if we can do it. Nope. So you fail. So yeah. you become broken. <laughs> so you you make a flea action. Yeah. Two d six. So he he's he's running. <laughs> two inches back into cover. <laughs> he's just gonna get. Yeah. Right, cool, very productive turn. There we go. <laughs> I have the plants! Yep, the you plants not like are... it. I'm next gonna move my concussion carbine just 
up to the exact same place. He's becoming very predictable, my turn. It's true, isn't and it? And over to you. Um, I think I've activated everybody now. Okay. So. Well, I'm strangely going to activate my grenade launcher. Yes. And move up the same ten everyone else has done. Wow. All game. No. I know, shocker. I can't believe it. Complete shocker. That's so out there. And into the end turn. So right. let's roll to discard. Yep. This nerve check. Do you want to roll it? Yeah. Because I rolled roll. it out. No. No. So I, I've got a bad feeling about this. Does it? Around. Yep. No, it does, doesn't it? So yep. yeah. <laughs> there it is. And then all the plants shoot at things. Yep. <laughs> so um, do you want to go first with my broken guy? Because he's definitely close. So this plant will go there, I imagine. Yep. This plant will shoot over here. This plant will be out of range and this plant will shoot at the shot. Yep. So yeah, I'll do your yep. squat over there. It hits it's twice. It's strength four because it's the dome jungle. Yep. And that's an ammo dice. No. No, but you're pinned because that's a shooting Yes. So he will jump on his back like that. Okay, uh, I'll go for this guy next. Yep, so that's the shotgun in the open. Yep. So it hits on fours. No, no. nada. And, and then, then over here, if it, they're within 12. Uh, yep, yeah, so have a look. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, he would be, yep, yeah, but heavy cover, so. Okay, so heavy cover on my leader. <laughs> Nails him with Still one shot. Um, wounds? Three, three. Wounds. Four, four, three, isn't it, actually, because of that, yep. Yeah, yeah. So. and I've got armoured undersuit, layered flak armour, yeah. but you're in my side, so I've only got a four up. Oh, no, oh. I take a wound and I go down to one wound. Yep. And I'm pinned. <laughs> no! <laughs> the plants have currently done more damage to both of us. It's it's literally than each other. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Who could have foreseen it? I know. Anyone so, that has read the Bad Zones book, I imagine. It's true, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So we roll for priority yes. in turn five. Two. You get a two now. Oh, you got a five, though. Right. <laughs> I'm going to group activate over here. Who would have thought it? Yeah. So I'm going to go first with my leader. Yes. Um, he is going to... Oh, so you need to do an, a recovery check. Recovery roll. Oh, for my injured seriously guy. injured guy, yes. yes. So he had a friend. Oh, he's still got friends. <laughs> he's got a lot of friends. He stays seriously Which one would you injured. like to take? He stays seriously Which injured. Which one would you like to take? He stays seriously injured. You don't have, like, an angel of death card, do you? No, we're all right. Just me. We're fine. <laughs> for now. Um, right, so I'm going to go with my leader, obviously, into your champion. And you're going to fight my champion. Sergeant. And power yeah. fist. So power fist is red. Bolt pistol is yellow. Threes. Let's see if I can't roll, like, another one and a two on, like, half of these die now. Right, I'll take it. So more than we were getting before. And see if your bolt pistol goes out of ammo. Yes. It doesn't. Oh, boom. It does not. So do I get the rapid fire die for that? No, no. 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 Oh! Because yeah, you rapid do. fire one, yeah. Yeah, so you roll Yeah, so I will get two, won't I? Yeah. Right. Okay. You need to remember this more, Callum. Yes, I do. The, all these new Necromunda rules, everybody. Right. Um, so, uh, I'll do my vault pistol first, because that's strength yeah. four. So, wounding on threes. Oh. <laughs> Just straight out for both of them. That was honestly quite amazing. For two wounds. Uh, do you want me to roll the fist as well? Or do you yeah, want... go for it. Yeah. Uh, so, the fist is strength five, so threes again. Doesn't win. <laughs> Right. So the bolt pistol is minus one to my save, and I fail both of them, so you do four injury dice. It's to me. true, I do do four. And you're on your last wound, aren't you? That's, so that's why you do all four. Yep. He dead. He's dead. He so, dead. That was a six. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I didn't. I. Yeah. Canny viewers might have noticed that I forgot to do my bottle check last turn. Didn't actually need to do when I had seven fighters, yeah. one being down meant that I couldn't actually fail my bottle check. Now I can. Yep, it's true. <laughs> so, um, I've done my fight. So yes. I do have another... <sighs> do I want to move into your guy? No. I can shoot, though, can't I? Yeah, I can shoot. Is a fight action. Um, so, I'm going to fire my bolt pistol at him. I bet you are. And just see what happens. Um, so, let's give it a go. You hit twice. Yeah, twice. This is feeling very familiar. <laughs> Um, so, we're winning on threes. But two wins, wins, AP minus one. He's got black armour and an undersuit, yep. minus one for sixes. Two twos again. <laughs> so, I gave this is four damage. <laughs> very familiar. Right. Three flesh wounds takes him out. 
You don't need to. Right, yes, nothing's Three flesh wounds wounds just gets uber kill, doesn't he? Right. Um, <laughs> but then go on to my Ganga, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, uh, he's going to get up. Oh, see if you rally Broken Fighter at the end of your last turn. Oh, yeah. We're forgetting a lot at the end of this turn. It's true. It's true. With the bad zone effects being in place. It's just his uh, cool, cool, cool check. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's laughing. Well, he's plus 220 nerve checks because of the... Uh, I've got oh, a bad feeling. He just... He probably eight, passes. Eight? Cool yeah, no, six. Cool check is six. So he's fine. So they get an eight, so just, though. So he only rallies. just scraped it, yeah. Obviously, he's still pinned, though. Uh, behind his little little sad crate. Oh, he yeah, got shot. hit as well. He, he got shot. Oh, what can I even do? You can stand I'm up, gonna stand up with my, <laughs> I'm going to stand up with my leader. Uh, Are you sure you want to move with the rage of the plant? <laughs> I've got... He's only got a close combat weapon. Yeah. And I'm going to move over to here. And that's my full five. So do I end within three inches? I do. So he takes a nerve check at minus two. Oh, plus two. How, two worse. He definitely fails. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do him. And he runs nine inches wow. to get as far away as possible from enemy mobbles. <laughs> Into the plans. Yep, he's... Yep, wow. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Understandable. Right. Cool. Um, I'm going to... Well... Since, since that kind of concluded itself rather dramatically, um, I was going to have this thing... What, with the execution by bolt pistol? Yeah, yeah. So, like, now I move, like, this guy, you turns know... Turns out squad bolt go, pistols are pretty good. Turns out, yeah, just... just. And, you know, remember at the start when I was like, ah, well, I decided not to give them all bolt pistols this time. I only feel like they're that good until I roll an ammo check, though. And Having then, two bolt pistols... Yeah, at least if one goes... Probably yeah, probably better than one bolt gun. I think you might be right. I think I might have the kind of... you can still fire Try anymore. this, yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's get into yeah. the Ganga. Right, so the Ganga, he's going to activate. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> just going to aim shoot, I think, honestly. Um, I'm just going to aim shoot. Uh, is that your concussion? Concussion weapon? carbine, yeah, the yep. guy in the radio. Yep, so I'm going to aim shoot, so he will <laughs> He's have... currently boxing for backup. Yep, he, he ain't getting it. No. Hopefully. <laughs> he's probably not. He ain't getting it. Uh, so, um, it would be fours hit normally, yep. minus one because of the cover, plus one because I'm aiming, so just yep. straight to fours again. For two hits. Nails him. Uh, strength three, toughness three, so fours. For none. Did you roll two ammo dice there? Or just uh, I rolled a two, uh, just one. You're in, you're a squat yes. auto gun, so you rolled you two. correct. You... I rolled that one other one. Of course it was an ammo check and an extra shot. So I roll the ammo check first on a yeah. four. And no. the wound on a four. And the wound on a four. Also no. So he's now just out of ammo. And I lie down. Yep, because you are pinned. Right, so I've now got two, a third of my guys are now out of ammo. Yes. It is fun, I promise. <laughs> it's fun, it's fun, Necromon, it's fun. I stand up and I move five to here. Why do I even do that? I've got to, to do him. something. Yeah, I've it's true. I've got to do something. It's true, it's true. Um, I'm going to activate my champion, the right out of ammo. Yes. He's going to do it He's going to try and reload. So, do you know what I should have done? What? I should have stood up and then taken the take cover action to go into that cover. Uh, that, yeah, that would have been good. It would have been better. But, but he, you've already declared your he action. He is now hating this crate. He's just, he hates it. Yeah. Never mind the plant. He hates that crate. <laughs> Look at the crate over there. Yeah. Look at that crate. Um, right, so I'm going to try and reload on yes. a six. No, I'm going to re-roll it with my skill. No, I'm going to take the reload action again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on a six. Yes! He's reloaded, that's my turn. And that was on also actually on the first reload, not it the It was, which now... As it, per? Yeah, so in the three times I've managed to reload the six up bolt guns, none of them have been on the uh, re-roll for the skill. Yeah. But I almost feel like taking it makes me get them, so I think it's yeah, worthwhile. Point, yeah, you exactly. roll in more dice. Exactly. It's just it happens to not be coming out on the reload. Exactly. So I'm going to activate my subjugator patrolman with bolt, so with, with frag... Grenade launcher. Yep. He's going to move to there, and he's going to fire his frag launcher here. Yep. So into the open where he can see. Yep. But I will clip you. Yep. If I hit. So he hits on a four. He misses. So, so it was it's a small blast from, yep. to, from here that goes two inches and gets no one. Yep. Right. Cheers for coming. Yep. He tried. 
He tried. You can't blame he him. He did. He tried his best. But over to you, and then I've got one activation left. Yes, um, I can't do anything with the rest of my two activations. That's m- you know m- meaningful, uh, basically. Um, so that guy can stand up. He can, but that is it. Or I could stand up and move backwards, and then you would be the nearest person they would shoot at. Yeah. Which could be an option. So that's what I'm going to do. He's going to stand up, and he is going to flee uh, to here. Okay. And that's his turn. <laughs> and my stub pistol. Did you? Poor Jude. Jude. Like, well, semi Jude. He's not actually. He's just promoted. That's why he's. Oh only yeah. Just it's like his badge is still not fully stuck and on yet. It's yeah. still. It's just peeling, it's peeling off slightly. Off. Yeah. yeah. So he gets to the front there to take all of the plant damage. Oh, I mean, he deserves it. <laughs> yeah. He so came to work looking like that. Let's get into the plant damage phase. Oh. Got my one guy left that's just hanging out. Oh, I thought you said you weren't doing anything. No, no, no. I said there's nothing meaningful he can do because he's stuck here. So um, he's going to move his four to out here. Um, I am... I'm going to try and shoot. Um, I think the only guy I can really see easily is, again, the concussion gentleman. Okay. So I'm going to measure that. He's within range, so I'll try and shoot him. Um, It will be minus one because I can only see his torso upwards. Oh, so that will be minus two. So he would be hitting on a four. He's now a six. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, he doesn't hit. But doesn't but go out I don't take an ammo check, which is pretty good, actually. So which is excellent. I'll take it. <laughs> so, plant shoot. Oh, no, let's see what if we uh, get rid of the... I've got a bad feeling about this card. Yes. We do. It does. But the new effect is witch's layer. That doesn't sound good. So, in the end phase, each player randomly selects one of their fighters who is standing. This is the target of the witch's attack. Make a willpower test for the chosen fighter. If fails, they immediately attack the nearest fighter. If they are engaged, choose one of their melee weapons. If not, shoot with a random weapon. So, I'm going to randomly select one of my fighters. Yes. And it's going to be the pistol, concussion carbine, um, frag grenade launcher... Captain is a four. Five is down. Yeah. Four captain. Captain. And he's got he's not engaged, so it's his stub pistol. Yeah. Is he within six inches of one of my fighters? He is of the concussion carbine. And because of his stub pistol, that's plus two to hit. Yes. So do you want to roll? Uh, I shall. And that's on a two plus to hit his mate in the back. Uh, He does hit. Uh, Strength three, toughness three, so fours. Does a wound. But that guy's Okay, he's down. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, I had to do the willpower check. Oh, yep. Yeah. He fails the willpower he check. He doesn't. He's meaning not really that all continuity is fine. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, ooh. Right, okay. Um, I'll do the willpower check. Yeah, randomise which fighter first. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Re-roll. That's all. Yeah, yeah. then re-roll. So, it'll be this guy. The auto ganger that was the last one to fire. He was. His willpower is an amazing six. So we'll see if he is chill. He's chill. He loves it. He is. He is a witch. Yeah. Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Wizard. I think is the correct term. He's, well, he's got he a helmet on, so how do we know it's a hit? Exactly. But in I'm... fact, he's got a helmet on, so that's why the powers didn't affect him. They just bounced off his chrome. Well, mine's got helmets on. Why are they enforcing? Yours aren't chrome. Affected? I suppose. See, suppose. it bounces weird rays. It's a Lord of the Wasteland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shiny and chrome. Yeah. Tin foil helmet. Exactly. Valhalla. Tin and all foil that. helmet. Yeah. That's what they are. So, I've got to make a route test. Yes. Because I've lost a lot of dudes. Two, plus my two out of action, <laughs> my serious injury, yep. my broken captain is six. I'm not bottled yet. Nope, just. Just. Luckily. So now I need to roll to see who gets up and does whatnot. Yep. So my guy on the floor has a friend, double flesh wound, and stands up on toughness one. <laughs> he's loving life. Oh no, life. I'm going to choose the flesh wound so he's toughness yep. two. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. loving life. Good, good. He's loving life. And my enforcer captain rallies on a seven because he he's a captain. Yes. So next, let's roll to see who goes first. Indeed. I do. (laughs) Okay. Um, Right. 
Okay, I I'm just gonna do the the kind of smart thing here, and I'm gonna activate my champion. Yeah. I'm going to aim, and shoot, at this guy. So that's my frag grenade your frag launcher. grenade launcher because he's he's he I can see more than fifty uh, percent of him. He's he's in quite a nice yeah. spot compared to everybody else. So I'm going to shoot at him. And you've aimed. It's true. So. Do three goes to a two and yep. back to a three for yep. half cover. Yep. So hitting on a three, which does hit for three, three shots. Times. So with the rapid fire rule, you can actually spread those three shots about if you want. Uh, to anyone within, I believe it's two inches. Right. I will put two of them. Yep. On your toughness two guy, because I'm yep. wounding on twos. Yep. And then I'll keep one of them on him. Okay. So the two on the toughness two guy. Yep. Are wounding on twos. For both wounds. Um, so AP minus one. Is six is. Yep, do you want those? Yeah. No, like two. Takes, takes one, one, takes one. So it's two damage. That's not an injury die. Flesh wound down yep. to toughness one and serious injured, which means I might as well just take him off. Because he's going to for break test anyway and he'll go out of action when he stands up. Yep. So he's just out of there. And then the one <laughs> shot on that guy. Um, so on three this yeah. time instead of a two. Does what did you do? If you minus one. He's a subjugator, so has layered flak armor, yeah. undersuit. Minus one makes it a five. No. Doesn't save. So two. So it's still two damage. I will take the damage. And it's gone. And do you know what? With that, I'm going to call it. Yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> Good yeah. game. I think that... Just the power of the bolt, the bolt thing specifically. We'll get into this in the outro. We'll get into this in the outro. We don't want to talk about it. Let's do it. Today's our Bad Zones game concluded. Callum, you obviously. The squad smashed. They did. The those, enforcers. Those just multi multi damage weapons just just managed to eke out some of those skulls. Who knew ball guns were good? Who knew ball guns were good? Who knew two damage two it's rapid fire dice exactly. ball guns were good? Two rapid. It's mad, isn't it? But. Mm. They do pay the points premium for it. So, yeah. you know, obviously in weight of models, you vastly outnumbered them. And you've got double the chance of going out of ammo. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And obviously movement's lower, so I can't yeah. position as well. But they are just a little bit hardier with that toughness four. Well, it seems an int I actually, like, I don't think, oh, it's super unbalanced. I think they're an interesting gang, actually. Yeah. They're scary with that fight damage output. Even the auto gun is actually quite good. Yeah, with that rapid fire. Yeah. But... It's just kind of juggling them, I think, is the issue. Yeah. Juggling if you want, like, you know, you go all in on firepower, right? But you're not got many bodies then. And they're not exactly sticking around loads. They're a bit tougher. Yeah. But they're only Goliath-level toughness. Yeah. They're not, like, toughness five. Or exactly. And then you've also got to remember that, obviously, there aren't that many of them as well on top of that. So yeah. whereas Goliaths do have, a, you know, a fair weight you of numbers. You can put more in there. Exactly. Yeah. You can whereas, get to eight easily. Yeah. Whereas the problem with the squats isn't the cost of the, the, the gangers themselves. It's the guns. Yeah. The guns are all your, all your credits, literally. So trying to balance whether you want those really good weapons, right? Like, those bolt pistols are, are deadly, right? Within 12 inches, that rapid fire... They're very good. <laughs> in very, combat. Mate. Yeah. In combat. The, the combat and then oh no I'm now out of combat shoot yes. was such a deadly move yeah it was all it was all coming up Millhouse exactly oh, that man. leader was just you know you have hip shooting I need hip shooting he he's a hip shooter anyway he, you know he just blows the guy in combat blows the shotgunner but I, I again he was a lot of credits just yeah. on his own he he was he was a lot of credits and and like the first game we played right where he uh, fell he got seriously injured and you yes. could have grabbed him. You know, just like that. That was literally a quarter of my looks list. Like, looks like you need to stick to Zomatelli so exactly. you can't fall off. Still. Exactly. Or I take the skill where I only go prone instead of being pushed off soft by being shot, which yeah. I did debate. Um, and originally, I originally was thinking if we ever played S-Waste again, I would almost be tempted to pick that over the reroll ammo check. Well, it's, it's a good question. Exactly. Which is always means a good game. Exactly. Because, yeah. you know, if, if, uh, if I can stay up in higher positions more yeah. with a, such a shooting reliant gang obviously is that better than re-rolling ammo checks when you know out of the three I've passed so far on this six up for the bolt gun none of them have been on the re-roll 
Who knows? Who knows? I think it's something I definitely have to find what, out. What did you think of the bad zone environment? The bad zone was very interesting. With these plants, obviously, they are... Uh, the hazard is putting it lightly, having to dodge around them. Um, I, I do think maybe they're a little too prevalent, and, and maybe, depending on if you're playing them just with the zone, and then if you have something else going on, because obviously we just played the, uh, the, the normal mission yeah. uh, where it was just whoever bottled. But having objectives on top of those might get a little convoluted, but they certainly were a fun addition. Um, yeah. I think they, they certainly add a lot more to, to moving, definitely. Because, you know, obviously yeah. you were playing quite a melee-focused gang, really, yeah, all, like all three, things considered. Four, three fighters. Yeah. Um, and obviously you had the very annoying decision of, do I run into a plant to get to my squats? Yeah. Obviously can't really defend themselves in combat. Other, other than the leader, I'm... I'm only punching back at strength three. You know, it's yeah. not it's not much. But well, with the battlefield environments, I suppose there is the balance of negatives to range shooting as well. So it's yes. not all anti anti combat stuff. Yes. So it'd be interesting to see in our campaign how that actually turns out. I think I might specify what environments and hazards will be on there. Yes. Or give like roll a d three or a d six rather than it being completely random. Yeah, I, I think them being tailored would definitely help a little mm. bit, just making sure that they, they kind of fit nicely with what's going yeah. on, because they do have such a high precedent for that, but I also think the opposite, that you could have an issue where sometimes you've, you've picked a scenario and it's it's more awkward than, yeah. than, than kind of um, helpful to the overall narrative of what's going on. But well, there they is a too, that that is the thing about like, yeah. arbitrating... Stuff exactly. Is well, that's partly the arbitrator's job, and then the players have to go away and like, how does this work yep. with our game, with what the arbitrator is trying to achieve, with what will be best for us playing a game? Because at the end of the day, the fun comes first. Exactly, rules. Then, yeah. then like what you're trying to achieve with the campaign. Yeah. Then like yeah. this and that. Yeah, but I I do think that the, the plant specifically is a very interesting element. I'm interested mm. to see what the rest of the bad zone environments. I'm interested can do. to see what the plant buster book. Bolts and ammo yes. will help us do with these goddamn plans. And I think the more interesting, interesting question there is how much people are going to spend on it, mm. because obviously it's 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 a very conscious thought you need to make. Yeah. Because obviously it's it's it, it's only one bad zone environment, but as demonstrated by us having that combat. Well, it can then, be all they just get bonuses to strength. Yeah. In this bad zone. Yeah. So any bad zone could include could be those plants. plants. Yeah. yeah. But also whether. You want to spend points on, uh, sorry, creds on specifically that. Well, like wh whether you want to take. Well, they that... also take out brain leaf zombies as well. Yes, but which obviously very... is quite helpful when yeah. they can really hurt you. You yeah. really put the hurt on. You know, not 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 liking going down at all. Yeah. Basically, with with that um, with that, you know, they're only taking a serious injury on the taken out. If you enjoyed that game. Don't forget to hit like, comment below and subscribe. That will help me to know what you guys want to see on the channel so I'll make more of that. And if you really liked the game, there is Patreon down below as well, which you can get yourself a dice tray that you've seen in this battle, as well as access to the Discord server that's just gone up a week ago or so. And they were getting a bit of community there. So that's all from me. That's all from me too. Yes, good sign out. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.